Okay, today I thought I'd just run through the fitting instructions for the Boyer Bransden Micro Power Ignition. Uh, this is the one that includes the electronic advance, so it does away with both your points and the advance mechanism, which is brilliant. Okay, it's a very good unit. It's at a good price. The only thing that's really, really poor about this is their fitting instructions. That's it. With an appalling diagram. And why on earth a company that's been going supposedly 25 years can't do better than that is beyond me. Why can't they just put a couple of photographs in um, to show you what um, goes where and how it fits? It would make it so much easier. Anyway, I thought I'd run through this quickly. Just It might be of help to somebody else because I've had to try and uh, decipher this lot myself. So basically I have assumed that you've removed your points and advance and that you've also removed the shaft from the camshaft so now what you've got is in the kit you'll get uh, a magnetic rotor and the 8mm threaded bar um, this you've got to glue on the end of the bar with Loctite it's quite simple you just run the thread right through until it comes to the other side so that the whole of the, th the thread is right the way through um, and let that set um, they suggest 10 minutes. I would think probably be a bit longer than that, but anyway, 10 minutes is what they suggest. Yeah, so next thing you need to do is to thread this through from the left-hand side of the engine. Just quickly run through what you need here. You've obviously got the housing covers and their screws. You've got the stator plate, which comes with the Boyer um, ignition system. You've got two fixing screws for the stator plate. These are two aluminium. I think they're aluminium spacing uh, washers to go behind the, the stator plate to just space it off of the uh, the, uh, the engine and then you've got your bush, bronze bush or brass bush at the other end, that's a spacing bearing a plain washer, spring washer and a nut to hold it on so that's basically what you get along with the obviously the, the electrics, electronic box but I'm just doing the mechanical side of things now so you've already glued that on there so now you need to thread this through the engine from the left side, which is your alternator side. So let's move around. So here. Okay, so um, if you're in any doubt about left and right, um, you always look at the vehicle as if you're sitting astride the bike, and then it's the left and the right hand side as you're sitting on the bike. But in this case, it's the, um, the the alternator side. So you thread that through, and it'll sit on the bearing there. And on the other side, you need to put your bronze spacer, the plain washer, spring washer, and the nut. Uh, they just need to be run on finger tight. Now if the bronze washer um, spacer is a little bit tight, the bush on the other end of this, um, they suggest that you use a socket, just run it over the top and smack the end of the socket and to press the um, brass bush into the end of the camshaft. Mine doesn't need it, it's quite loose actually. So that's that. And I've just tightened that up finger tight so that actually it's not moving too much. Right, that's that part done. Now. You need to get the stator plate, and that goes on with the wiring this way round at the bottom. Why on earth have made it so that all the description and their name and everything else is on the wrong side so you can't see it? I have no idea. But anyway, it goes on that way round with the magnets outside. Um, and obviously where the fixing holes are, it goes like this, and the wiring at the bottom, so the wiring goes out there. So. Now what you need is you need the fixing screws and the spacers. So you need to put the fixing screws through and put the spacers on. Be very careful you don't drop anything down the spark plug hole. I suppose it is possible that one of these pieces could go in there. So now you've got both 
bolts in and the spacers. And then just put that on, turn them up a bit. Just loosely for now, what you need to do is make quite sure that it, the PCB is sitting inside the housing and not resting on top of the housing so it could crack or fracture. And the spacer should space that off exactly right so that it does that. Now these have got slots in so that you can actually adjust the timing. And you want to fix them just about in the middle for now temporarily. Let's just tighten that up a little bit more. I don't want to go too tight with these. You've got to gauge it obviously. It's only PVC um, PCB board. It should do it so that it doesn't move. Right now, what you do is you put the engine at top dead center, and I won't describe how you do that because I know you will be able to do that anyway. But make sure you get it at top dead center. Then look at the alternator. And make sure that the mark on the rotor corresponds with the advance mark on the stator and that is the line just before the F mark so it wants to be this one here this is just about exactly lined up as, as you can see there right, so when you've done that all you do now quite simply is to turn the rotor, the magnetic rotors, just loosen it a little bit, a little bit tight, until you can see one of the magnets through the hole, and the hole is just there, you've got to be able to see the white painted dot. So you move that around until you can view the white painted dot on one of the rotors through the hole, and then you tighten it in that position with your 12mm socket from the other side. Just make sure that's lined up. Yep. Make sure that doesn't move. <coughs> also make sure you don't, uh, you've got something to hold against the uh, rotor, uh, the um, crankshaft turning, otherwise you'll lose the position. But that's now tightened up and in position. So that's all there is to it, basically. And then that just connects to the uh, red or blue box, whichever one comes with your unit, um, on the frame of the bike. So hopefully that will be helpful to somebody. It's uh, very straightforward, really.